CGI back to normal. Today's topic is the dangers of wrong treatment. There are many ways to treat TNJ. That's why insurance companies don't pay in so many different ways. Many practitioners try to dabble and not, are not doing right by the patient. Many patients have been abused by, by practitioners and they charge them a bundle and they end up being worse. The wrong treatment is very hard. Um, an example, this is a patient, one patient, a college professor, a PhD, treated with all these different appliances and none of them worked, in fact, they made her worse and she ended up with a broken crown. So, uh, things can go sour pretty bad. So I made a movie of how bad the appliances fit her bite. This is a model of how our teeth come together. This video will show how poorly these appliances fit the occlusion. That's the first one from the first dentist. This is the second one from another dentist. This is the worst one. This only touches in one spot right here. And it's impossible for Nazilla to close her mouth with this device in place. That was the worst bite. This one was terrible. This one is the worst. This is another dentist. Center of number remained lower. And also fix the bike very poorly. It's a lot of fun, but it fits the bike poorly. This one is called an NTI. It just goes on the front teeth and it's made only to keep the teeth apart. And there's no, no bite to it because it just holds the teeth apart. But if you look closely, this side and this side are separated, not the same, because this is made in just an arbitrary movement. Open, excuse me, arbitrary opening. So that's no good either. So all three devices were poorly done. It was put together for the patient to show her how the devices harmed her jaw mechanism. And seriously, she couldn't wear a couple, you know, one of them because it was so bad she put in her mouth. She said, I can't wear this. And they charged her bundle. And uh, <clears throat> now it's, this is just to show everyone how bad things, badly things can be done. This, I want to show you the damage wrong treatment can do to the patient. If you look at her, she's a beautiful young girl, had the wrong treatment for two years. Look at this side of her face and this side of her face. 
way different. Way different. She's still good looking, but look how what it's done to her face. She had an accident, got hit by a, a car, different appliances. It's all dental talk. But she, she was damaged by the accident, and then she was damaged by the uh, devices that made her worse. And then she also, when she came to me, she had been under treatment for two years. She was legally addicted to opioids. This was in 2012, I believe. And I told her, once we finish your treatment, you have to go to a detox or some type of plan to get you off the drugs. And uh, this is uh, the device that they had to wear. It was terrible. And uh, I uh, go through it for a dentist to show them how bad the bite was. Uh, but that, that's enough of this. But she was treated poorly, she was treated incorrectly, got worse, plus she was legally addicted to opioids. So I was giving her the drugs, keeping meticulous records of what I gave her. And from day one, I said, You are legally addicted. When you're done, you're out of pain, you must go to the detox. Yeah, I just want to show. A good movie. <clears throat> Can you see the cursor? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Look on the big screen. It's right there. No, no. Look on okay, the big I, screen. Oh, I see it. I have to get it onto my uh, computer to make it play. Okay. So I made movies of how the jaw moves. I showed you the crooked movements. But this is the movement of the jaws after I fixed it. So the final video shows so now that we've done the bite adjustment and added to the cuspid for cuspid function. Pen is not touching. We'll raise it up so you can see. Better. Pen's not touching. Only the shape of the teeth are keeping the condyles in position. Everything's very solid. Now, when she bites, no displacement is no movement in the condyles. Solid. Okay. When she goes forward, Smooth. When she goes to her left, it's smooth. No displacement. She goes to her right. It's smooth. No displacement. So smooth in all functions, especially centric when she bites. No rock and good contact everywhere. So that's, that's the end of the presentation. I just wanted to show you what the good function looks like. And we show this to the patients, and we do it in the video, we do it with the models in three dimensions. And I wish uh, Don was here, because Don would see that what the lawyers say, everything I do for the patient before we start is called informed consent. Show them the whole keynote and everything, what we're going to do, why we're going to do it, etc. And they fully understand what we're going to do before we do it. So, very, very good not to get sued.